if the people are aware, if we have mechanisms to screen them uh, early and treat them. We can also think of how we can help the government reach the last mile, because one of the critical failures of Indian government, especially the public health and social systems, is to reach the last mile. So how do we reach the last mile? And there your networks, which are covering almost 14 crore people, as I understand, can help and work with the government to take the programs to the last mile. We have to also think of social and commercial enterprises, distribution of products, first aid, nutrition and health education. Uh, sometimes we forget that even simple things like massage and physical therapy. We have overproduction of physiotherapists, but they are all in the cities. And we think that rural people don't need any physiotherapy or physical therapy. So we have to think how we can reach the services to the poor and con convert that into a business or livelihood opportunity. Uh, in some sense, I want to emphasize that working together, the health and microfinance, I see as limitless opportunities in as we transit from an epidemic prone poor country to chronic disease prone middle, middle income country over the last next 30 years. We also, I sometimes wonder, and I was asking Soman and Dr. DSK, that Gujarat is land of Amul, milk but no honey yet. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we link the milk cooperatives and other cooperatives which are already existing and doing big business to what is needed by the poor people and link them and strengthen and include and there are models where Amul actually developed a small health service for its farmers uh, by just by a comment of a woman when the chairman of Amul, uh, Trivon Das, retired in the meeting, when Trivon Das retired, he was given some money for his retirement and there was a meeting. So one woman, they asked any comments, so one woman got up and said, in the age, this is about 25, 30 years old, they said, in your area, cows have better care available than women. So he was very moved. So whatever money was collected, he formed the Trivon Das Foundation. They have done interesting work of how the milk money can go into developing healthcare system for the Kheda district. So in some sense if we think laterally and combine the forces of various cooperatives and others working, we could do much more. Now finally to sustain this community of practice which has brought you together, connected you through the electronic and other media, there are some thoughts. Uh, we did some back of the envelope calculation that if we put together all the profit of all MFIs and calculate 2% of that and take only 10% of that 2%, which is 0.2%, that would be enough to sustain this community of practice and do also some basic little bit of research to show how better health can be integrated and what are the benefits of that so that even government will be interested to work with this community of practice of microfinance and bring much larger benefits to the community in terms of improved health, improved working capacity and much better financial status. With that, uh, once again, let me welcome all of you. I am sure you will enjoy our new campus. Uh, some of you, I think, had difficulty, I understand, finding uh, but any new place has in spite of Google Maps. Uh, but sorry for that and welcome again. Thank you.